Hey guys, what's up? Blue Swift here with another YouTube video today in my hands and released last week. I've got No Man's Sky. Now I've been playing this game quite constantly as those of you who follow me on Twitch uh, have seen. I've been streaming a lot, I've been playing a lot behind my Twitch stream, you know. And for those moments I don't play uh, I don't play on Twitch, I actually do play like at least 12 hours of this game a day. And I know that's going to change when school starts again and stuff, but you know. It is a fun game that I'm getting lost in and I'm having a lot of fun with. Now, of course I do wish it was multiplayer and stuff like that, but that's not, you know, going to change anytime soon. I'm just going to get used to it. Now, that being said, this is the start of a new series for my YouTube channel. This series is basically going to detail my journeys that I've had in No Man's Sky, some of the interesting stuff that I've had. You know, if you've watched my Twitch stream, perhaps you've actually seen some of these journeys live. The gameplay in the background is actually going to be about the journey that I'm talking about. Either it's going to be the original footage from the journey that I'm describing, or it's going to be um, fabricated and, you know, purposely recorded just for the story. Um, but for this one, this is the actual original footage. Now, this is not the first time I discovered the planet, uh, this part of the footage anyways. Um, so, this is actual. this part is fabricated, but the last half of the video is not. Um, so, when you see that nighttime footage, that's actually footage from when I first discovered the planet. Um, now, about this planet, it's called Vortex Wasteland. I named it myself after discovering the system um, while trying to find an Atlas interface. I am following the Atlas, but I'm not, you know, actually going to the center of the universe anytime soon. I'm just kind of following my own path. Um, but I am getting those annoying notifications in the corner to go to another galaxy, and I keep putting it off and off and off, and I'm fine with that. Um, so, about this planet, as you guys can see, it's actually very, very barren. Um, the only things on this planet are iron, plutonium, carbon here and there but very 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 rare and then of course there's uh, the vortex cubes which are all over the place um, you can't really see them from the sky you can really only see them if you actually go onto the ground and land but um, they are actually dotted all across the landscape and you know I kind of just guesstimated where they'd be so um, you know I'll be landing in random places and stuff and because I can't really tell where they are until you land and once you see them there's like you know I got a chain of like 12 of them right beside each other earlier um, so these things are like super common on this planet and then uh, the space station that's off planet and the trading stops that are nearby actually take them for a large bonus I'm not exactly sure what that bonus is I don't know if it's like plus 2.5 percent bonus to their price you know above the galactic baseline but you know it's something that I can make a lot of money off of and I have you know each time I go out I can collect between you know four to six stones and each one of those sells for approximately about thirty to forty thousand each but uh... i'm about to show you guys some footage just to show you how common these things are so if you give me a minute i will be um, time warping this next bit just so we can get through it Alright, so that was my sort of journey um, along the planet. I just wanted to find a nice spot to land. And I figured this was the best spot. Um, you know, you can see here, you can see your plutonium and stuff. But uh, here's one of the cubes right here. So these cubes are set upon a pedestal. They're spinning in air. There's another one up there. There's some over in the distance. I'll show you guys that in a second. As you guys can see, you can collect them. Um, but the weird thing is the Sentinel seem to be guarding these. So if you take one, the Sentinels will go to a, you know, Code 3 or you know, 3 stars if you're familiar with GTA's wanted system. Um, so it will put you in the Sentinels' bad eyes and they'll try to attack you and stuff. But the Sentinels are much more of a nuisance at this point than an actual uh, threat. So I'm not too, too worried about the Sentinels attacking me because they really only take like a tenth of my shield or less with every hit. So I'm just going to go ahead and collect a few of these for you guys just to show you how angry the Sentinels get at me. Yeah, I'm going to be taking some shots from them, but I'm not actually going to die because um, I have actually I actually have uh, some shield upgrades on my exosuit so that I won't get hit too, too hard. But you'll see they'll still try to attack me, and I just don't even bother attacking them just because every time I pick up a cube, they keep attacking. So it's kind of worthless. The whole, you know, the whole strategy here is just to pick up as many cubes as possible um, as quickly as possible and um, then get back to my ship, circle around the area, then land and collect the rest of them 
fly off, trade them, find another place, um, land, collect, fly off, trade, and just rinsing and repeating as many times as possible. Now, of course, during the day you can't really see these cubes very well, um, but at nighttime it they shine like this eerie red glow on the dark. You know, the planet is like black rock at night, and it's quite easy to see the cubes at nighttime. So I'm actually going to show you guys some nighttime gameplay that I recorded. And like I said at the beginning of this video, it's all original footage from the time that I actually found the planet. Well, this isn't too nighttime, but I didn't come in at nighttime. I came in somewhat uh, daytime, and I landed on this this trading outpost. And I'm just going to do some collecting for you guys, uh, just to show you again how common these things are. This is where I came to uh, when I first found out about the stones. I came to that trading post to sell them. And this is just like my second round of collecting them. Um, so, you know, during the day, like I said, these things aren't visible. You know, the sun outshines the glow, I think, is the best way to describe it. But my suggestion is to open up as many inventory spaces as possible before collecting them. Because there are a lot of them. If you guys ever happen to find this planet, I mean, I don't know if there's any other planets out there that are actually like this. But it's something that I was pretty happy with discovering because this means I can get a lot of, you know, units in a short amount of time. And... So here's some nighttime gameplay, like I said, though, uh, you guys see the glow I was talking about. Now this, there's like eight of these in a circle around my ship, so I kind of landed my ship so perfectly that I can just grab them and run back to my ship. So you see, I start off by one and I start running to the next one. Wait a little bit for my jelly to recharge, then run off to the next one. I kind of leave all the plutonium if you guys see me not collecting the plutoniums, because I have a lot of plutonium. One of my other planets, and I'll be detailing this journey at a later time, uh... One of my planets that I started with, my galaxy, my original galaxy from when I started the game, that planet had so much plutonium, I never have to worry about plutonium ever again. You know, that's I think I collected nigh on probably a few thousand uh, plutonium units, so I'm not too worried about plutonium, and I don't use it too, too often. Only um, on my launch, as you can see here, the Sentinel Force deactivated. I usually only use it on launch thrusters. Um... Every now and then, if I don't have any other stuff, I use it on my uh, life support systems and stuff. But you see here, I've, I have a ton of these Vortex cubes. I actually have to transfer some to my ship just to fit more in. And I did it in between the Sentinel Force deactivated on purpose so that I, you know, could sit there and move some stuff first before I kept grabbing them. But, you know, each time you grab, and each time Sentinel Force deactivates and you grab a new crystal, it just activates them again. So I just try to race in between them and just keep grabbing them so the Sentinel Force doesn't keep attacking me. But, you know, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like this video and want to see more No Man's Sky gameplay, go ahead and uh, give this video a thumbs up. Thumbs down. If you didn't like it, tell me why in the comments. Tell me why you liked it in the comments. Give me some feedback. I'd love to hear it. You know, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you guys on the star side.